Hey, my name is Danielle and I have NF1. Something about my diagnosis that people can't see is the unknown. Is you don't know where you're gonna be at with this condition years down the road or months down the road. I would liken it to the NF box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're gonna get. Something that people can't realize about me because of the diagnosis, that NF does not define me. And for the longest time, NF did define me. I was teased, I was made fun of, you name it, it happened. Sometimes people can be really downright cruel. And because of those things happening to me, I felt that, you know what, put me in a room, hide me away from society. And if I do have to go out, just put something over my face where people can't look at me to give them an opportunity to stare or to be made fun of more. And for the longest time, I was like that. I was like, let me just hide. Let me just be that wallflower. Flower. Let me not be her. Let me not be put myself out there because I don't want them looking at me to make fun of me. But after years of much healing, I got to the place that, yes, I do have enough. But enough doesn't have me. That I'm going to live my life. There's things with me that I want to do. Dreams and goals that I want to accomplish. And I'm not going to let this condition stop me any longer. And it was so freeing to get to that point in my life. And let me tell you, it took a minute, like a minute, I mean like years to get to that place. And there's been so many opportunities where personal stories happen and personal experiences happen. You now growing up, I've always had an opportunity to babysit, worked at daycares and eventually within church working in kids ministry. And you know, kids, they do say the darnest things and there is no filter when it comes to them. And one thing, they were always so curious about Miss Danielle and her bumps. And then they would always ask me, and I thought, oh my goodness, I had this aha moment that I have been given the platform to reach a generation, to let them know that if you see someone that maybe have bumps, or you see someone that looks a little different, or maybe a little disfigured, don't make fun of them, but to reach out and befriend them. And when I had that lightning bolt moment, I'm like, oh my goodness, here is something I meant to do. I meant to bring awareness. And I remember one time at church, you know, I had a short sleeve shirt on and one of the kids, of course, they see my bumps and he grabbed one of my bumps on my arms and he squished it and he giggled. He's like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. It's so squishy. And then he went to show all his owies that he had. And then I got to explain to him, of course, in the childlike terms, what my bumps were and how they came to be. But it was in those moments and moments like that, that I write, wow, I have an opportunity to bring awareness. I want you to see me and see enough.